Hi guys, so today I was going to talk to you about dentist sticks and I know people use this a lot but I'm going to have to smash those dreams I'm afraid. <laughs> back of a packet of a dentist sticks packet um, you have a few things that I would really want to avoid uh, the first being um, iron oxide uh, well-known skin and eye irritant that causes lung inflammation and is also cancerous <sighs> putting carcinogenics in dog food dog treats seems to be okay to some of these larger companies they add poultry flavorings so this is um, where they throw a lot of chemicals together to try and create a chicken flavor for dogs no actual meat is needed to create that flavor they just play with chemicals and create the end result uh, the next one is sodium tripolyphosphate which is the active ingredient they use to clean the dog's teeth and keep gums healthy. <sighs> um, it is an artificial preservative uh, and its known uses are in detergents, antifreeze and <laughs> flame retardant. It also causes vomiting. Uh, they also use animal derivatives and if you've watched any of my other videos before, I do not like that word. Deriv uh, derivatives can literally mean anything. And it often does mean anything, especially in these large companies. Um, anything from claws, heads, fur, feathers, teeth, feet. Not actual meat, like breast chunks. You know meat it is the stuff that you would never feed your dog normally and it can often be from different species so if you've got say a chicken flavored dentist stick it might not be chicken in it <laughs> the manufacturer pedigree will change the recipe depending on what meat is cheapest or what offcuts are cheapest at the time so one week you could have mostly chicken the next week you could have mostly beef so it it will change smoke flavor um why they have to make it taste like smoke i don't know but apparently 73 percent of smoke flavorings have been found to be deemed carcinogenic um major health concerns or detrimental effects Stay away from it. Dogs would not smoke their foods. Dogs would not eat dentist sticks. Just the mind boggles. Uh, what else is in them? Potassium sorbate uh, is damaging to skin, eyes, and respiratory tracts. Uh, shown to cause irreversible effects to blood cells. Uh, negative effects on immunity and also has cancer causing properties they also say that there's cereals in the treat so that's just a blanket term for what could be in there and as these things are generally quite cheap to buy you would assume that they're using the cheaper cereals like corn or wheat in their uh, in their recipe so these type of carbohydrates actually get turned to sugar in your dog's body, sugar creates cavities and bad breath. So the thing that they're actually meant to prevent, they actually cause by using rubbish ingredients. Each stick only contains 2.3% of the sodium tripolyphosphate, which is the active ingredient meant to clean your dog's teeth and keep them healthy, which means that 97.7% of the rest of the tree is full of what? Ah, uh, chemicals, cancer causing chemicals. Basically, if you give your dogs dentist sticks, don't. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> 
find another alternative. Natural treats, bones, things I've gone over before, things that have been dried, roasted knuckle bones, pig's ears, cow's ears, rabbit ears, things that are dried straight from the animal, straight to the shelf. They are not faffed with. I also don't like the fact that these are soft. I, I mean, I think I've given them to my dogs maybe once or twice. It took them two seconds to eat. No cleaning of the teeth was involved. I get better results from giving them natural treats like the roasted knuckles and the dried treats that they get often and my dog's teeth have better results from doing it that way rather than giving them the daily dentist sticks that you're meant to do. Just do your research. Again, dentist sticks I wouldn't touch with a barge pole. so avoid that where you can obviously if you keep giving them over christmas chuck them in the bin <laughs> i will see you in the next video guys don't forget to subscribe bye